Welcome to Electron Line, and now for something a little bit more challenging. Here we're trying to find the maximum rectangle you can fit inside this triangle the way it's situated here with one side against the hypotenuse. Notice that the length of the three sides are 6, 8, and 10. Could be inches, feet, meters, whatever you like it to be. But you notice that it's a 3, 4, 5 ratio triangle. If the size of the rectangle is length times width, or if the area of the rectangle is length times width here, you can see that if you look at the hypotenuse and you let this section be equal to x, then this section here will be the total distance, 10, minus the length of the rectangle minus the value x over here. And that's the, the value for this distance right there, and we're going to need that. So once we have a schematic, a drawing that gives us a good feel of what we're trying to do here, the next step would be to see what we're trying to maximize. So let's write that down. We're trying to maximize the area of the rectangle, which means that we're going to need an equation to describe that area. And for rectangle, it's simply length times width. So for step three, the equation is the area is equal to length times width. So it starts out fairly simple here, but you realize right away that you have two unknown variables, L and W, the length and the width, and you're trying to find the maximum area, which means you need to find some constraint that relate L to W, that relate the length to the width of that particular rectangle. That part is a little bit more challenging. So now on step number four, we're trying to find the constraint. Well, first of all, let's take a look at this triangle right here. We know, because of similarities, that this also needs to be a 3, 4, 5 triangle, which means the relationship here between x and w can be expressed as x is going to be equal to 3 quarters w, because this has to be a 3, 4, 5 triangle as well. At least the ratio, same as the ratio of the big triangle. All right. Now we have W. Now we have to somehow convert that to L, right? We need to relate W and L, which means we can go to this triangle right here and do the same thing. We can say that W is equal to 3 quarters this distance. So let's try that. W is equal to 3 quarters this distance right here, which is 10 minus L minus X. Remember, we're trying to relate, X, uh, we relate W to L, so we can limit one of the variables, which means we need to get rid of an X here. And since X could be written as 3 quarters W, that can go in here. So W is equal to 3 quarters times 10 minus L minus X, which is 3 quarters W. Now I think we're ready to relate L to W. We just need to do a little algebra. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. Or maybe what I need to do here is move this to the other side. Let's do that. So we have 4 thirds W is equal to 10 minus L minus 3 quarters W. So move all the W's over to one side. We have 4 thirds W plus 3 quarters W is equal to 10 minus L. Now I need a common denominator, which would be 12. So 3 goes into 12 four times. That's 16 over 12w. Plus, that goes into 12 three times, or 9 over 12w equals 10 minus L. Together, that is 25 over 12w equals 10 minus L, or L is equal to 10 minus 25 over 12w. And that can go into my original equation where I express area in terms of L and W. And that way, I can get rid of L. So now we have, so that would be step four. Step five would be to substitute for L what L is equal to. So we have A is equal to the quantity 10 minus 25 over 12 W times W. And simplifying this, we get A is equal to 10 W minus 25 over 12 W squared. So now we have an equation where we have the area, which we're trying to maximize in terms of W alone. 
Now we can go to the next step where we take the derivative and set the derivative equal to 0. So a prime is going to be 10 minus 2 times 25 is 50 divided by 12 can be written as 25 divided by 6. So 25 divided by 6, w. And then we're going to set, and oh, I'm running out of room here. So let's go over here. Now we're going to set the area prime equal to 0 so we can solve for w. So we get 0 is equal to 10 minus 25 over 6w. Moving this to the other side, I can say that 25 over 6w equals 10, or w is equal to 60 divided by 25. So we can reduce that to divide both top and bottom by 5. We have 12 divided by 5. So there's the value of the width of the rectangle, 12 divided by 5. Now when we plug that into the equation over here, we can solve for the length of the rectangle. So we get length is equal to 10 minus 25 over 12 times 12 over 5. So you see that the 12s cancel out. 25 divided by 5 is 5, so length equals 10 minus 5, so length equals 5. So here we go, we have a width of 12 over 5, a length of 5, that means that the maximum area, which is length times width, is equal to 5 times 12 over 5, which is equal to 12. Again, that would be square inches, square centimeters, square meters, whatever the units are that you're using. And so that's how we can find the maximum area of a rectangle in this triangle. Again, start out with a drawing, a schematic that tells you the relationship between W, L, this X here and this distance right here. Notice it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. The area is length times width. We need the relationship between W and L. So we can plug it into the equation here and solve for the individual uh, variables L and W. And that's how it's done.